Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Oksana. Today I want to show you and to teach you how to make a beautiful and really high-end looking paper Christmas decor. And in particular I'm talking about paper Christmas trees and paper angels like this. But basically using this technique you can make any shapes or any figures you want. To be honest, I was really inspired by the paper decor pieces from Westel, but this kind of uh, paper decor is so trendy and popular right now, so you can find it in almost any store that sells Christmas decorations. I saw similar pieces at Crate and Barrel, Michaels, IKEA, Studio Magee, just to name a few. So people actually buy this type of paper decor because it looks so elegant and beautiful. But you can make it yourself super easy if you follow me and the best thing is that you can make it in any color you need that will match your theme or other decor that you already have and also you can make it in any size you want. Uh, so I have prepared for you templates for this particular Christmas tree in three sizes for free so you can download it on my website but if you want to make all the variety of Christmas trees that I have or you like to have templates for these charming angels uh, you can purchase them also on my website I will leave all the links in the description box now of course it will be a very nice bonus if you have a cutting machine because you can cut all the parts much faster and they all will be perfect but if you don't have it don't worry because I always include PDF files with my templates so you can print them on a regular printer and cut out all the pieces by hand it will take a little bit longer but it's absolutely doable Alrighty, the first thing you need to do is to prepare the glue and paper and it's actually really important what kind of glue and what paper you will use because the speed and quality of your work will depend on this. You need a glue that grabs quickly and dries fast but it still should be craft glue so it doesn't dry too fast because you will need some time to manipulate it. On the other hand, the regular craft glue, like any regular white glue, takes too long to dry and it's too runny, so it's not the best option either. Look, to be honest, I don't know much about glues because for my flowers I always use hot glue, but for this particular job the hot glue is absolutely not suitable because it dries way too quickly and it has uh, the volume that is visible between the sheets of paper. I myself use this advanced craft glue from Beacon and it says here there is instant grab. Overall I liked it, but maybe you know some other good craft glue that dries quickly and you can recommend it please let me know in the comments, I will be very thankful to you. And a few words about the paper. Don't use too thick paper because it will be very difficult for you to work with it. Uh, the optimal paper weight is 170 grams for larger items and 120 grams for smaller items. For example, my angel is made from paper 120 grams and I made it super quickly because the paper was very easy to work with. And this is the largest tree in my collection. It's 12 inch tall and it's made from paper 175 grams. I know that the most popular place to buy craft paper is Michaels. So I want you to know that their metallic paper is pretty thick and to me it seems like it's thicker than their regular cardstock, although the packages indicate the same weight of 65 pounds and it also has the metallic layer on top that is, that is very slicky so it's actually very difficult to glue this paper and very difficult to work with it. For example, this tree I made from champagne color metallic paper from Michaels and it took me forever to make it. It was very difficult to work with this paper so I don't recommend it, just want you to know. These little Christmas trees are also made of paper which I bought from Michaels but from a paper set and unfortunately I cannot recommend it too because this paper is white on the inside, it doesn't have a clean cut and when I made uh, these trees all the edges were white 
it didn't look nice and it shouldn't be like this you can see it now because i already covered them with glitter but i just want you to know that this paper is not good either so if you will be shopping for paper at michael's your best choice is just to buy the regular cardstock and once you have the paper and glue ready uh, we can start making our beautiful trees and angels so let's move to my desktop All right, the technique in which such paper decor is made is called an accordion. Some people also call it honeycomb, but our trees and angels will not look like honeycombs at all. So for me, it's just an accordion. And as you may have already guessed, the point is that you glue many identical pieces of paper in different places together so that later you can stretch them like an accordion. Now, it seems very simple, but depending on how and where you will glue the paper parts, as well as how many there will be in total, the look of your project can be drastically different. That's why I made templates for you where I marked all the places where you need to glue so that you don't guess anything and so that everything is perfectly leveled and looks professional as I like. Also, all templates have scoring lines so that it's convenient for you to fold the parts perfectly even. Now, as for the number of parts, I advise you to use 40 to 50 pieces. If you have 40 pieces, then the accordion uh, will be more stretched and the cells will be larger. If you want a denser look, then I think 50 pieces will be enough, but of course you can always add more if you like. I start by folding all the pieces in half first. Please note that the glue lines are placed in different places on different halves, so make sure that you fold all the pieces the same way and on the same side. And I start gluing each piece separately until I glue all the pieces I have. Immediately after gluing, you should put the parts under the press. I personally use a box of my glue sticks for this because it's heavy enough to press down well. After I glued all the parts, I begin to glue them together in pairs. And since this is already the other side, the glue in places will be different. So like this, it turns out that you glue all the pieces separately in one places first and then when you start gluing them together you glue them in other places between each other all pairs as soon as you glue them immediately put under the press too and try not to apply glue close to the edge so that it doesn't squeeze out especially if you have a, a runny glue if the glue leaks out it will stick your parts together in places that you don't want them to stick and then it will be very difficult to separate them so please be very careful with the glue on the edges after you have glued all the pairs start gluing two pairs together then four pairs and so on the point here is to glue the parts into many small piles first then into medium ones and then into large ones because if you start to glue all the parts one on one forming one big pile then most likely you will end up with the unleveled piece i hope it makes sense as you can see, when I glue each stack, I align it using my desk along the straight edges and I do this every time. So like this, I got three large piles which I'm gluing together and then put under something heavy for the glue to dry completely. My glue dries very quickly, so I only have to wait about 15 minutes. It's more than enough. And now the most enjoyable part of this whole process is to open the tree and finally see what we got. Just for reference, here I'm making my medium 9.5 inch tree and I used 46 pieces. So you can see and appreciate how dense it looks. To glue the tree together, I use different clips. So just apply glue to the same places where you glued the parts between each other, level all the edges and then fix it well with clips in several places. Remember to be careful and not to apply glue close to the edges. After the glue has dried well, I remove the clips and check all the pieces to make sure they are all open. If you see that some of the edges are stuck together, try to carefully separate them with a craft knife. And here's the beautiful tree that I got. So now let's make an angel. 
In the template folder, you will also find angels in three sizes, large, medium, and small, so you can make beautiful compositions. And just like Christmas trees, angel templates will also have all the markings and fold lines for you. Look, because angels have a much smaller diameter than a Christmas tree, you may use less pieces. For my large angel, I used 50 parts and it turned out very dense. Of course, it looks very beautiful, but you can easily use a little bit fewer parts. For my medium angel, I used 40 pieces and for the small one, only 35. So if I try to make it into a general rule, then I would say that for angels, you need about 35 to 45 pieces. But of course you can vary the number of parts depending on whether you like a more open accordion or a tighter one. And basically I do everything the same way as when making a Christmas tree. First I fold all the pieces in half, then I glue each one individually and then I glue the pairs and so on until I have glued all the pieces together. As I said before, for the angels I used thinner paper than for the Christmas tree, it's 120 grams paper and it was such a pleasure to work with it. I also really liked how this color looks in the finished product, it's called Nude from Star Dream Metallics if you're interested, I highly recommend it and I will make Make sure to leave a link for you guys. When all the pieces are glued and the glue has dried well, I finally glue the angel together, make sure all the edges are aligned and fix with small clips just like I did for my Christmas tree and let it dry well. And while the angel is drying, let's make wings. They are very easy to make. So first you need to fold two pieces of paper like a fan. In the wing templates I also marked all the fold lines for you so that the distance between them will be exactly the same and all the folds will be even and beautiful. Great, I have prepared my future wings and my angel has just dried up. So I remove the clips and check if all the cells are open. If not, try to carefully separate and open them with a craft knife where needed and now you are ready to glue the wings look I take the fan so that its side folds look at me and not away from me try it on and with hot glue I glue the first side fold along the body of the angel please note that I step from the neckline down a little bit this is very important because if you don't have this space you won't be able to fully open the wing so make sure you glue the fan below the neckline now i apply glue to the second side fold but only to the top part that will be in contact with the head and then I fully open and glue the wing. And just like this, the first wing is ready and now it's only left to glue the second wing. Remember to check if you took the fan with the same side where the side folds look at you and not away from you. And then glue it just below the neckline like previous wing. And here's the beautiful angel we got. And the last thing I want to show you is how to cover your paper decor with glitter, if you like it. As you may have noticed, I covered all my pieces with glitter because I just can't imagine Christmas without beautiful sparkles. I prefer to use plain white craft glue, which dries clear. I don't advise you to use initially transparent glue because you will not be able to see where you applied it and where not. Using a sponge brush, I apply the glue in small areas at a time, working from bottom to top. I use an extra fine champagne silver glitter, I think that I got it from the Hobby Lobby a long time ago and this is my favorite glitter color because it looks so good on almost any color of paper but of course you can use any color you like and you enjoy. The only thing I want to point out is that I don't recommend you to use chunky glitter because it will look kind of cheap. When you apply the glitter everywhere, be sure to let the glue dry completely and then you need to seal everything on top. I use Mud Patch Spray for this, but make sure that the bottle says Ultra Gloss and not Matte. 
Just spray it all over so that the Mod Podge covers all the glitter very well and let it dry completely. And then don't forget to give your piece a good shake to shake off any remaining glitter and also go over with a dry brush as well. Keep in mind that the denser your piece and the more paper you use, the more area you will have to apply glitter. And the fewer pieces you use and the more the accordion will be stretched the smaller areas you will have to apply glitter so depending on this your decor item will either shine a lot or just shimmer a little all right guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial leave me a comment if you did or if you have any questions i would love to hear from you remember to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up because it means a lot and i will see you very soon bye bye